The final part of creating your Photo Story 3 project is to save it. Uh, students will make a mistake in this section of Photo Story quite a bit if they're not trained properly. So let's take a look at how to do this. Once I've previewed my um, Photo Story and I, I like it, I'm ready to go, it's done. The next step I'm going to do is click Next. At this point I'm going to want to select where I want to save my uh, Photo Story project to. I'll click Browse. In this case, I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to call it Click Save. After I've selected Browse and where I want the story to save, I'm going to click Next. Once I do that, my story will be processed into a video. And from here, I can view my story. Okay. Now I'm going to click back. What happens a lot of times is students will click Save Project, and it will save their project so they can get back to it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to save this real quick to the desktop just to show you what this looks like. Okay. Now, all I've done is save the project, not the video that I did in the previous step. Let me show you what the two icons look like. Let's go to the desktop and do this. Okay. Uh, right here I see the video. Um, in Windows 7 it's really nice because it's actually going to show you a picture of something that's in the video. So uh, here's the video. This is my finished product. This right here is the project itself. A lot of times students will turn this in thinking they're turning in the video in. So a good way to train them is to tell them you want to actually see um, I tell them the, the sides of the film. You want to see the actual movie film uh, and that's what you want them to turn in. And this has been how to save a photo story project. So enjoy.